Yes, yes, yes. What is going on, people? We're back. Episode three of the Bankroll Builder. Uh, we sort of did a live on Saturday night, Sunday morning, because obviously I was watching the UFC. We've done a watch along for that. Let me just move that around there. There we go. So, yeah, this is going to be episode three. We're up to 60 um, so far. Started on the 50, well, we actually, we, we started on 28 um, when I first deposited. But it is what it is. We've started the bankroll builder now. And, yeah, we're going to get cracking. What have we got? We've got all red so far, look. So, obviously, we've got low numbers in there as well. We're just going to just jump in with a higher number. We'll hope it's no, we won't. We won't. We'll go black. We'll go black. We'll just we'll keep it half safe. Um, I ain't superstitious or nothing, but I am superstitious. <laughs> it's just how it is. But yeah, I hope everyone's had a nice weekend. Good to see. Uh, look, we go red again. Low. Mad. Uh, good to see a couple of subscribers back commenting. Shaolin Skunk, I see you, bro. Um, yeah, now, like like I say, circumstances have changed now, so we can get some more content out on a regular basis. That is the idea, anyway. So, um, yeah. Lachlan's gone on a mad run of red at the minute. Don't know what he's trying to do to me. Don't need this kind of aggro. But this is second bet on black. And obviously, as we say after it, all bets get tripled. So that's the, like, when you see that, did you see that? Snidey, I'm going to stick on black. I'm sticking on black. If it would have gone low again, I'd have gone higher, but I'm sticking on black. So yeah, we triple the bets now, so that when you do have to go into a sequence of a martingale, you get paid better at the end of it when it lands. That's simply the reason why I've been doing it. Because otherwise, you just betting and betting to constantly just chase your original stake back so at least this way it's a little bit more rewarding and yeah let's see how rewarding oh, come on man 19 again right what do we do here do we just stick with black we're just gonna stick with it Sometimes I like to chop around, other times, whatever. Stop loss, I think, would have to be 50% bankroll. But we'll see how this goes. We may have to we may have to switch, do something different. Come on, black, baby. That's nice. Thought he was going to roll in that zero then. <clears throat> and I would have been... A little bit annoyed, but look, as you can see, because we've done that now, look, we're up 450, a fiver. Essentially, <clears throat> I could just clamber off of here, but what we'll do, we'll carry on for the sake of the video, and we've got three odds, the last three numbers spun with odds, so we'll go even. But yeah, essentially, the video's done. Uh, we go for 10% a day, don't we? So if we do it in one session or two, basically... We're basically there, we've hit 80-85% bankroll, so then it goes even. Nice. But now look, we've got four higher numbers in a row. So what you could do is go low. Or you've got two blacks in a row, you could go red. I'm just gonna go low, because he did have that little phase of where he was hitting the low numbers. But yeah, man, like I say, if you've got strategies that you want like maybe me to try out obviously i'll give them a major testing first like with like apps and stuff because there's some good strategies out there man but it's always the good ones that pay nice and so volatile there it goes 29 low number uh sorry a high number but 29 normally always helps me out when i need it to obviously being my birthday but i don't believe in that sort of stuff you know, but there was a phase where I was coming on the table and like obviously you'd join and it'd be in the middle of a spin or he's just like throwing the ball like and uh it always come in eleven. I don't know why. 
I mean, when you start, like, I don't know if people are into, like, their life numbers and all their spirit numbers and that, but mine are meant to be five and six. Five and six makes 11. It's gone high again. What do we do here? I think we we'll read that one more time. We we'll read that. <clears throat> and then I think we've been on the table about six minutes. So see what happens here. Any low number will do. Twenty one. Not what we wanted. Right. We're going to switch. We're going nine pound on even. I'm making the executive decision right now. Nine pound on even, baby. Let's go any even number, baby. Let's get it. Just don't be a dog and go low. Nice. And a dealer change. So yeah, we're up £10 in about six and a half minutes. We uh, So we've made £9.50. Yeah. That ain't too bad. It's not too shabby and any good uh, gambler would come off now, right? <laughs> we should, we should come off, but I'll see what he rolls. I'll see you guys. If he's consistent, if he if he starts just hitting out like weird things like all over the ball, choppy and all that, then we'll leave it. We'll give him free spins and see see what he does. Could you imagine if it just rolled straight in with a zero? I'd be like, yeah, all right. Good night, Vienna. What's his name? Easton. Never had a never had Easton deal for me before. There's always the mainstay dealers, ain't there? It's like they just that they're not getting sacked. These other people that come here and us just be like, you know what I mean? Bored out of their mind doing this all day. Imagine that having to sit there for half hour spinning a wheel, then having to get called to go play a, like deal cards. I had pals that were in casinos, and none of them ever seemed happy. <laughs> Shout out the boys that used to work in casinos back home, mate. Sounds like a, sounds like a good job though, to be honest. Apart from the fact that I think they were saying like all their tips get put in a pot for at the end of the month and it gets divvied up between all the staff. I personally don't think that's fair. Do you know what I mean? So if I'm getting served in a restaurant and I want to tip the waitress, I want to tip the waitress. I don't want to tip the bar manager that ain't done nothing for me on that. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's crazy, man. This is his third spin. And look, I said he's had higher, higher and then low, red and then black. Odd and then even, then he's just gone low again. Um, because I'm a sucker, I just want to get it up to seventy quid. So let's just—he's bet. He spun. Sorry, that five. We're just gonna we're gonna go red. Just to get it up to around number of seventy, then we'll call it a video, and that'll be episode three done. And let me know, like, if you if you prefer the live content of me actually streaming live, I don't mind doing that. But I prefer these little videos because at least like if like nine times out of ten my dog's here. And if uh, someone knocks at my door, my dog starts getting mad. Right, red, we got it. And I don't really want that on the stream, do you know what I mean? It's just little things like that. But if people prefer it live and it has a bit more authenticity to it, then by all means. But these are literally me hopping on recording and going from there. But look, we made a clean tenner in ten minutes. That's what we like to see. And like I say, with this triple martingale, after the first initial double, if you just triple, triple, you can see the results, you know. All right, we probably had, what did we get up to? Nine pound bet, left us on like 46. We'd have actually gone to 27 then. So we'd have had one more bullet left, but then our return would have been much higher as well. So each to their own. But listen, that's been episode three. I've been little Johnny P. I want to love you and leave you as ever. One love, one and all. Peace out and stay staunch.